Hello everyone, my name is Molly and I'm from the Buddhist Library at Camperdown. What we're going to do today is introduce you to one of our children's books. It is taken from our children's collection. We shall talk a little bit about the book and then we will go into the messages that is extracted from the book and we will look at how we can use these messages and raise the children's awareness through using age-appropriate language. Okay, so let's start at looking what which is the book that we have chosen. Right, the book for today is called The Little Ant, which is written by Philip and Hannah Hoos and illustrated by Debbie Tilly. This is a book of about the little boy and his conversation with an ant. This little boy is called Kit in the story. One day, Kit comes along and he sees a little ant. And he bends down and he says to the little ant, Hey, little ant, you're just a tiny speck and I'm going to squish you. And the ant says, looks up at him and says, no, 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 please don't kill me. And the boy says, why not? Anyone can see I'm big. Well, you are just a tiny little speck. Then the ant says, yes, I know you are big and you are a giant, but do you know how it feels to be an ant? Come close and you will see that we are very much alike. And Kit says, ha, huh, I have family. And Kit Ant says, yes, I have family too, and baby ants to feed. Then Kit says, oh, ants are a nuisance. They steal our food. And the ant says, oh, the food that we take are so very tiny. Then Kit says, look there. They are my friends there, and they're all looking at me, waiting for me to squish you, for well, that is a game we all play. And then Anne says, oh, I can see you are big and strong, while well, I'm a tiny little thing. What about if you were me and I were you? What would you do then? So, should the end be squished or should the end be allowed to go free? Well, let's just now look at what are the key messages in the book. And remember, we try to tailor this discussion using language that is appropriate to the children and to the development of the children. One of the key message is violence. Kit was going to squish the end what alternatives are there? Is violence the only way we have when we come to an, any disagreement? What would you do? And the second message is respect. Does kid and Anne share any respect between them? Should we have respect for all living things and for things that are different to us? How do we show our respect? Kid is big and the end is small. So there's a concept of power, big versus small, powerful versus the powerless. Should the big and the powerful look out for the smaller one or should they take advantage because they are big and powerful? Does being big mean you have more power? Then Kid says, Ants are thieves, they steal food. So that is a form of stereotyping. Do we stereotype and put people into groups? When do we do that? And what happens when and if we do that? The next thing Kit says is, my friends are waiting for me to squish you. So should we allow our friends to decide our actions for us? 
Should we give in to peer pressure? What should we do if we do not wish to be pressured by our friends? Finally, we come to the activities. Children love to draw, we all know that. So one of the things we could do is let them draw from one of the scenes in the story. And then in conclusion, to round up the story and the messages, we ask them to share their experiences. Have they ever been in a similar situation? What did they do? What would they have done if they were in kids' shoes? What are the reasons for any decision that they make? Has the story made them look at ends differently now? Well, I hope you all like the story just as much as I like sharing it with you. You can take borrow this book from the Buddhist library and visit our website, www.buddhistlibrary.org.au. Or you could even find the book from the local library. Thank you for your time and let's hope you will join us again for the next session. Goodbye.